In the beginning of my hairdressing career, I kind of imagined that given the right opportunity, maybe if somebody took a chance on me to, to take me under their wing and train me, I would be the best educator that I could for them. And I just kind of imagined this thing where I would be flown all around for education and then I would work for the company. I didn't, I didn't really know what, what to look for. And you know, years passed and, and nothing like that ever happened. And a very smart woman told me, Philip, why are you waiting for something that you could be doing? She said, you should go out and, and pay for the education that you want and then you become more valuable. Then companies aren't, you know, paying you for education, they're paying you for your talent and for your skill. And so um, I made that choice to, to find out what education it was that I really wanted to go to. And I had always watched the Sassoon people, you know, going back into the salon after seeing them at a hair show and trying out their techniques always kind of led me to, led me into issues that I had like maybe cutting hair too short or, you know, being a little too aggressive with things and so I would back off and go back the next year and watch the people at the booth again and try to mimic their work at home. And it wasn't until two years ago when I saw actually one of my friends now, Benjamin Coe, I saw him and I saw a few people on main stage at the International, no, the International Salon and Spa Expo cutting hair and I realized, you know, these people are in their 20s, they're in their 30s and they're on stage cutting at a main stage Sassoon presentation and it was then that I realized that it wouldn't take a lifetime of re refining your yourself to get to the point where they were at. You know, even if I could take a little bit of their education and be like a minuscule, have like that small a talent compared to their, you know, amazing work, I would be happy. And so I decided to do that and I saved up for a year and I went to Sassoon for eight weeks in 2014. In 2015, I've gone four weeks. I think signing up for Sassoon and not knowing what the school was gonna be like was probably the scariest part for me. Now that I've gone back many times and now that I know the area, I, like, I definitely pack lightly because it's in the middle of a mall, there's, all, there's a ton of things to do. And if you forget anything, you can go to the Sassoon. You can buy stuff at the front desk. But I think that was the hardest part was not knowing what to expect when I got there. And so I wanted to make this video to share with you guys maybe like a four minute clip about one of the weeks that I was there. And so I think in it, you're gonna see, I guess in the beginning of the week, you're really just doing um, diagramming and understanding the language and seeing maybe a model or two and then in the middle of the week you're starting to do hands-on. You do that throughout the whole week and so you'll see, you know, like a breakout sessions and stuff like that, always working on live models. And then at the end of the week, the educators come together and you usually see like color and cutting and stuff just to kind of introduce you to the rest of it and maybe seeing something a little bit more creative than what you were able to do in the class because these are like Sassoon models that, that come in for that kind of work. And so because I've been there so much and because I've gotten to know the people there so well, they actually have provided me a coupon code, RING16, that you guys can use at any time to get 10% off of your Sassoon education. One of the other things that I think about that concerned me, somebody that hadn't traveled a lot, going to the Sassoon school was where do I stay? And because I've gone there so much, I've had an opportunity to stay near the school as well as far from the school. And going to the school, it, you're usually going against traffic, but going home, you're going with traffic. And so I guess over time, I've just, I've just decided that it's better to stay close to the academy because you can spend a couple hours in traffic. And I had always passed this hostel while walking around the promenade. And you know, when I went in there and I found out the pricing, like I had to try it out once. And so um, there's gonna be a little bit of the hostel in the beginning so that you guys can see what it's like. It's not scary. I didn't get any video of the rooms because you're, it's basically like a dorm room. And there's always people coming in and out. There's they're world travelers from from Australia, from Asia, from Europe, you know, they're like, it's really great to meet people and to all be traveling together. I definitely, I, I really do like staying at the hostel. There's free breakfast and you know, basically you're paying for a bed and it's 35 anywhere up to 
$55 a night if you if you book it late. There's hundreds of, of beds in there. There's also rooms that you can stay at for around $150 a night. At that, at that rate, I'd probably get an Airbnb. I would definitely say that the hostel is a great place to stay, especially if you're going to the Sassoon Academy alone because you'll be able to meet people, you'll be able to go out with people. There's tons of play, tons of things to do in LA and the hostel is really cool because they want people to go out together and to experience the town together. The Sassoon Academy is about three blocks away from the ocean. There's farmer's markets on Wednesdays and Saturdays. There's tons of restaurants in Santa Monica and tons of like gourmet coffee shops. There's juice, there's juice bars, there's salad bars, there's, you know, everything from fast food like Chipotle, McDonald's and Subway, all the way up to, you know, high-end restaurants and sushi bars and stuff like that. So really when you're going to Santa Monica and you're going to that Sassoon Academy, you can spend as much or as little as you want. You're in the middle of a mall, so if you forget socks, if you forget underwear, if you spill something on your clothes or something like that, it's really easy to walk downstairs from the Sassoon Academy and find a shop to, to spend some time in and to get some new clothes. Also, you are right next to the Santa Monica Pier, which has roller coasters and live entertainment. Sometimes during the summer months, there's actually music festivals that are free and you can just go down and show your ID and pay for a beer, drink with everybody. There's hundreds of people sitting down on um, like blankets, having picnics while live bands are playing. I notice that every time I go when I have a different instructor, not only am I learning different techniques, I'm getting different models, I'm getting different, just, I think you can go back a hundred thousand times and still learn learn new things because it just depends on the luck of the draw basically your educator what their aesthetic is as well as what the what the clients are wanting at that time my my favorite class of all the classes that I've ever taken there was a six-week class because um, when you take a week-long class at Sassoon, you spend a couple of days doing theory in the beginning each time. So even if you took a bunch of one-week classes, you're going to do theory in the beginning part of the week. The cool thing about the six-week class is you basically become a little salon team and you all get to know each other. You do your theory in the beginning part of the, the six weeks and then after that it's models. And sometimes you're doing two, three models a day. Most of the time you're doing two models. Very rare occasion you might get a third model through in the day. I think that you progress faster and you learn more during that time. I was worried about what my clients were gonna do while I was gone, but to be honest with you, they all came in right before I left and they all came in right when I came back. And so if they had to miss anything, they missed one appointment, they went to one of my friends. It was really cool because I realized at that time, like we do as hairdressers have the ability to take time out for ourselves. It was kind of hard to pay for living expenses there, the school there, living expenses here where I was living in Arizona while not even being here, but you make it work and you only really do have to do it once. But I, I definitely would like to do it more times if I get the chance in my life. But yeah, you don't have to worry about your clients missing out on you because if they don't come back, they don't return when you return, you're going to have people that appreciate you and appreciate your work more um, because you're you're taking that, that big of a step. And I spent about a year and a half warning my clients that I was gonna be gone for six weeks. Without further ado, here's about a four minute video just showing you one of the weeks of my, my trips in the last year to Sassoon.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to send a special thank you to the Sassoon Academy for letting me film a little bit of my week there. And thank you guys especially for watching such a long video. And if you guys want to see more of what I'm doing at, you know, right when I'm doing it, then check out uh, my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, all of those are at Phil Does Hair. And I'll look forward to seeing you around. Bye.